Botswana President Sir Ketomila Masire today. Masire died in hospital last week after undergoing surgery. Masire has been described by many as a man of the people who used humour to defuse any tense situation. Yesterday, his body was brought to the Botswana Parliament for people to pay their respects. Among the guests at today's service are former President Thabo Mbeki, Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe, Botswana President Ian Kama, and former Tanzanian President Benjamin Kapa, former Secretary General of the Organization of the African Unity, Salem Ahmed Salem, and former Mozambican President Armando Gebuza. Masere will be buried tomorrow. SABC News' foreign editor Sophie McQuenna is attending the memorial. She spoke to some of the former African leaders in attendance. I was a kind of a disciple. All my professional life, I was under his supervision, except when I was president myself. So he was my mentor and my president and my leader, and he led us for a very long time. We remember he was our first vice president for 14 years during Sarata's rule, then our second president for 18 years, dedicated farmer, he has humor, humility, he was a consultative, uh, collaborative leader. So all the things that have been said about him are likely true. So we will miss him very much, even though he was a man of mature age at 90 plus, we will miss him. Botswana has lost an outstanding son. Africa has lost an outstanding African. The world has lost a statesman. President Masire was a very simple man, a very humble person, but an extraordinarily gifted in terms of serving his people, in terms of serving the continent. He really symbolized Africa's desire. He, he, he was, I mean, he was one of those most outstanding African leaders who did, did a lot also in terms of pro promoting governance in, in, within Botswana, but also promoting governance within, within, the, within the continent. He was severely missed by all of us. He, he was a great man. And uh, he, uh, did, he gave his contribution to the history, not only of Botswana, but of Southern Africa, uh, struggling to free our countries from apartheid and also uh, from colonialism. And afterwards, contributing to building the SADAC, which is a very important organization for all of us. In the specific case of Mozambique, also you get a lot of contribution. As we had uh, problems of destabilization, he was with us there uh, and uh, helping uh, to create the environment that made it possible to uh, achieve peace. So we are very grateful for him and we admire him and we consider him also a hero uh, of Mozambique. I knew him as a, a great patriot, a great nationalist, a great pan Africanist, and a great internationalist. He's a man of great conscience, a person who was driven by the desire to see both peace, stability, but also development. Development not only of this nation of Botswana, but also of a cooperative and united Southern African region. And hence his, his architecture of the Southern African development community. But he was also a peacemaker. He helped uh, establish peace when there was warring between opposition parties in, in Mozambique, in the DRC, and in Angola. Volunteers from